Welcome to the Animals House, everyone. Today, I'm talking electronics in the F-150. I picked up this magic box over the holiday break with a Black Friday discount. Also picked up the remote control. It's got some pros, it's got some cons. I'm gonna kinda show you how it works in the F-150 and tell you some of the stuff I like and some of the stuff I don't like. Let's take a look. All right guys, so here we are in the F-150. Um, I've got the big screen, normal F-150 large screen. I'm gonna turn the key on here and tell you what I'm looking at. I gotta go through a couple of little warnings here from Ford. Um, I've got the accessories active and I've got my radio on. So this device here, just the magic box, it's, um, I mean, it's basically the size of, I don't know, maybe a pack of cigarettes or something. I'm not a smoker, but that's about what those look like. Um, you've got a USB-C plug-in and that goes to USB-A and then it also comes with a short cord just like this that goes from USB-C to USB-C. In this truck I have both USB-A and C right down in here. I can use either one, it works fine with either one. Then it's got a little USB connection over on this side. That is for hooking, hooking in the Bluetooth dongle so that I can use the remote control. So then the other part of it is there is an HDMI connection on this thing. So if I wanted to, I could power up this device and I could link it to Wi-Fi and I could hook it up to a TV somewhere else, you know, like whatever application that would be. In today's day and age, that's not all that super convenient because people have iPads, people have cell phones that can be screen mirrored, uh, AirPlay, all that stuff is really common. So, you know, what I liked about this item is it'll connect to airplay and sometimes you know you go in a scenario where like you got to wait for your kid for 20 minutes or something or you're early you just got time to kill you're sitting in a parking lot It'd be kind of nice to watch tv on a bigger screen and instead of staring at your cell phone and getting a sore neck so um, the airplay option on the big f-150 screen was very appealing to me i'm going to show you how it works first of all you cannot be connected to any other airplay device so i have uh, I or Apple CarPlay disconnected. I have, um, I think I just said AirPlay there. I, I misspoke. You can't have CarPlay connected at the time you plug in the Magic Box. If you've got your cell phone plugged in and then you plug this in, it's going to air to the cell phone. So I'm going to plug this thing in. And basically, this F 150 is designed to allow this section of the screen to be allocated towards a CarPlay. So there you see it recognizes it and this magic box is gonna boot up. You have to initially set up a internet connection. You can hotspot your phone, you can pay for the Ford streaming service through AT&T, whatever it takes, you have to get a live internet connection linked to that magic box. The first impressions of this thing, guys, it, it's not really that fast. It takes a while to boot up. Um, when I go through and I screw around with my settings and all that, it's a little bit clumsy. It kind of reminds me of the original Google, like uh, HTC iPhones way back in the day, like when smartphones were just starting to become a thing where everything just kind of takes a while. If I go into the menu, you know, in this case, it's all right, okay? But when I go into settings and whatnot, um, it was just a little bit clumsy for me. So I have reset this device already, but what I can tell you is you can watch Hulu, you can screen mirror from your cell phone. You can uh, go to uh, YouTube. You can download other apps and Prime Video does work. Netflix does work. I could not get Disney Plus to download. I could not get like Paramount and some of those other type like HBO Max, those kind of apps. It said that the device was not authorized to download those apps. So that part right there was kind of unimpressive. Also, I found myself struggling with this small section and there's no way that I can make this screen full screen. I checked with Ford service, I checked with technical support, chats, uh, little you know uh, forums. I looked in every setting I possibly could. I cannot make this screen right here be any bigger than this. So I'd love to be able to open that up and let that whole thing be the screen. But basically it's just a picture in picture. So I was, I was a little bit upset with that. Uh, now, as far as the remote function goes, 
the remote works just fine. I can push this little cursor button and I can go around and I can do that. But really it's it's kind of clumsy. If if this was 2012 and this was like coming out, I would say, wow, this is awesome. Look at I've got the, you know, I can move my hand and this thing is there. But we're just beyond that point at, at this stage and kind of the evolution of technology. So um, I was kind of unimpressed with the speed and operation of how this thing works. Also, a little bit of crazy when it comes to like finding the right sync up. When I went to this function um, right here where it's screen mirroring, I've screwed around for 15 minutes trying to get my cell phone to airplay up to the magic jet or the magic box and then you know play on here. Also, when you're doing the airplay, the audio is a little bit delayed, so that's a drawback. But when you are in like Hulu and Netflix and all that, the audio is clean, like where when they speak on the screen, it matches the volume coming through your speakers. So I kind of like that part of it. Um, and then, you know, so in the end, messing around, I can tell you that it's a lot of screwing around for a little bit of value. If you were going on a long trip and you had a playlist in Netflix or something, maybe. But like when it comes to your everyday stuff, I don't need to screw around staring at a screen for 10 minutes to get, you know, a, a video up when I can get it on my phone in about 30 seconds. And, you know, I'm only waiting for 20 minutes, for example. So I kind of just was a little unimpressed. Also, I don't really like having to jump through hoops. Okay, I don't want to have to if I want to watch Disney, a Disney movie, or I want to watch something on Paramount, Yellowstone or something like that, or Dish. Okay. That was another one. Uh, Dish Anywhere. Can't download that on here. Okay. So uh, I'm going to show you another option later in the video that I am going with that is going to make all that stuff work. So, um, you know, you, you're limited. I don't like jumping through hoops. I don't, I, I just think if it's a Google device, it should work with any app and it doesn't. So, I'm not really impressed. Also, I wish the thing would go full screen and it just doesn't. So um, for me, you know, those were kind of the negatives. The only positive for me is that the audio matches up. If I connect some other device to here and I play the, you know, let's say I, I go in and I connect another device to Bluetooth under like settings and then phone list. And then, um, you know, I go to like my cell phone. Um, it's the audio is not match the when somebody's talking it's like you're talking and your lips don't fit so you know on the car play on the magic box or magic yeah the magic box it does um sync up that's about the only positive otherwise i'm going to show you another option that's cheaper works better it's a lot less hassle for me all right guys check it out this is my solution okay I, for less than the cost of a magic box I was able to find a used iPad Pro, and I this this iPad Pro is probably four years old, five years old. I'm only going to use it occasionally. This was 175 bucks I found this for, and that's less than the cost of the Magic Box. The beauty of this iPad Pro is that it's a larger screen than what it would be because the Magic Box could only use the car, the Apple CarPlay segment of the screen, so it's a larger screen. It's also a clearer screen, but guys, this is the cool thing for me. Okay, first of all, I did connect the device to a Wi-Fi. I connected it to, let's see here, my connected F-150. All right, I got to connect to the F-150. I paid the 200 bucks for the year subscription through AT&T for Wi-Fi in the truck, and then I did a Bluetooth connection to the F-150 for media, so everything will come through the speakers. Okay, now... This is the beauty of it. All of these apps, including additional apps, if I wanted, can be used on the iPad. It's not a bunch of screwing around. I can log in on these apps and, you know, I can have this iPad in the console or whatever. And then let's say I got a half hour wait somewhere. I pull out the iPad. I turn it on. I make sure it's linked to the Wi-Fi and then boom, I'm watching, you know, whatever. Okay. So I'm going to go to the ESPN app. There is the Milwaukee Bucks game versus the Hawks. I go ahead, I hit play. I'm going to log into my TV provider, which is Dish Network. So I have the capability to watch through the Dish Network application. And now it's thinking about it some more. And pretty soon we're going to have the game. 
So what I'm gonna do here is I'm basically on the screen here, I have to be selected with the source of, you know, like the, I have this called Danimals House iPad. And then my audio is gonna come through the speakers here. So I got the audio coming through. In this case, the audio is probably a little delayed if I was looking at mouths, but I don't see mouths here, so I don't perceive the delay. This is just like watching this in my living room, okay? Now, I put this little strip on here, which matches the truck perfectly. I set this down. All of the weight is pretty much supported by, um, by this console. And it's got a little bit to go to the right before it stops, a little bit to go to the left. I'm gonna turn the screen off so I have a black background there. And then this folds just perfectly. This was like an accident. Um, you know, this little folding case tips over just perfectly. And all I need to do is put a little Velcro or any weight there, or I actually think it's gonna stay just fine because it holds a rigid form, okay? So look at, there you go. Okay, I'm watching a Bucks game on a 10 inch screen that's almost perfect quality, driving down the road for my passengers or you know, in a parking lot waiting for a kid to get picked up, waiting for a wife to get done with their hair, you know, whatever it is, okay? So that's a pretty sweet deal, all right? I really like that option. Um, so for me, Magic Jack is going back. I found my solution for less money and it's a better option. So guys, if you like the episode, don't forget to click for me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you on the next episode of Danimal's House.